Hello, in our last video we saw how to crochet a completely solid hexagon. In particular, we saw how to make a solid hexagon using iron weight acrylic yarn, uh, but with the same pattern in different yarn, of course, uh, we can turn this simple hexagon into a spider web uh, coaster, which is perfect for Halloween parties. Uh, so let's take a look at the materials. What we will be using is some DK uh, weight uh, cotton. I use paint box uh, yarns cotton uh, in two different colors. You can choose your favorite color combinations. For this one, uh, I will be using some gray. Uh, this is slate gray, and I'll be making the spider web using uh, champagne uh, white. And I will be using a 3 uh, millimeter uh, crochet hook. So we will not see how to make the hexagon. For this, I will refer you to the other video, which I will link up in the screen. Um, so what uh, you need to do is to crochet uh, four rounds of the basic hexagon pattern within your ends and then we will uh, uh, meet back here to uh, crochet the spider web. Once you have your uh, hexagon ready, now it's time to make the spider web. And for that we are going to use a surface crochet slip stitch. Um, it's also called uh, surface crochet embroidery, uh, slip stitch embroidery. Uh, but well many names so let's see how it works so for that I'm going to take my uh, white yarn let's put uh, this on the side and we're going to surface crochet following first uh, the spaces in between uh, rounds one and two then the spaces in between rounds uh, two and three and three and four and then we will add a border all around once we're done with that we're going to crochet the lines following the corners of the hexagon so to start making our surface uh, crochet, let's see how it works. Uh, so we always place the yarn to the back of our work. So I just I'm just gonna place the yarn there, more or less in the center, because I will start here from the first round, and uh, I'll just insert my hook in any stitch here uh, in this uh, space between the two rounds. So th this is basically the top of the stitches of the first round. And then on the back of my work, I'm going to grab, so just look back, I'm going to yarn over, grab the yarn, and bring it to the right side. So you see the yarn is on the uh, is at the back. Uh, here, leave a little bit of tail to weave in the ends. But basically, uh, you are working on the right side of your work. Then what you do is to insert the hook into the next uh, stitch on round one, go to the back, yarn over, so with the working yarn, not the tail, be careful, yarn over and pull up a loop. Oops. Once you have your loop up, slide it as for a slip stitch and you're done with the first uh, stitch. And now repeat for the next. So insert your hook into the next um, stitch, yarn over at the back of the work, pull up a loop and slide it for a slip stitch. And you continue like this all around. So be careful um, to, lo to work a bit loosely. Uh, because slip stitches can be a bit tighter than regular stitches uh, so you don't want your slip stitches to be uh, super tight otherwise your work will not uh, lay flat and keep going like this maybe it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to uh, grabbing yarn to the back without looking So you go all around, but here, so you see, this is the last stitch. Um, so we still have a little bit of gap here in between uh, this last stitch and the first one that we made, but I'm not going to make a slip stitch here. Instead, I will cut the tail, I will cut the yarn, slide the tail to the right side, and now using a tapestry needle so 
thread your yarn and now we're gonna close that gap by going through the under both uh, loops of the first stitch that we made okay and then insert your yarn in the center of this uh, last stitch so basically we're making we're embroidering a stitch okay so and we make an invisible join you see this way you really cannot tell where you started and now within your ends now repeat the same following the lines in between rounds two and three and between rounds three and four when you're done with the first three rounds of surface crochet slip stitch uh, we can start making the border the border is just a simple um, slip stitch in the back loop only of the last round of the hexagon so you just grab the uh, back loop of the of any stitch on the last round take your yarn and uh, join it make a, a chain and then simply slip stitch uh, all around working in the back loop only when you get to the trebles at the corner slip stitch twice so you make the first slip stitch and then you repeat again and then continue on the other side so always remember to slip stitch twice at the corners and I'll meet you at the end of this round now at this point we can uh, uh, start making the uh, let's say the rays of the spider web here I got lazy then we in my ends I will do it at the end sorry so let's take a look at how to make this it's going to be slightly more challenging because we are not going to follow the lines in between uh, different rounds um but we will have to crochet we will have to surface crochet following the trebles that uh, make the corners uh, so to do that we are going to start from the center here and we need to insert the hook in the same uh, stitch so we do uh, go above the first uh, the first round of surface crochet into uh, one of the corners so here you see I'm inserting the hook at the base of the treble here of round two. So just go in there, place the yarn so we do the same as we did for uh, surface crochet slip stitching and pull up a loop. Now for each treble we will need to make two uh, slip stitches following the length of the uh, the height of the of the stitch. So for the first slip stitch I like to insert my hook into this loop here at the base of the stitch. Okay, so you just go into that loop to the back of the work, yarn over and pull up a loop. Okay, and slip stitch. Now this uh, tail, you know, like we'll, uh, we can pull it later. Then for the second uh, slip stitch on this um, on this treble, I like to insert the hook in between these two loops. So basically at the top of the stitch. Go to the back, pull up a loop. Okay, make sure to make your stitches very loosely. And then for the next one, we're going to insert again. We are going over the last uh, the the next round of slip stitches. And we go at the base of the next um, treble, the the next round, and we make a slip stitch there. And so here we have three stitches now. So now we repeat the same. We go to the next treble at the corner. Insert your hook into the loop at the base of the stitch, and make a slip stitch, and then repeat repeat like one stitch. At the top of the at the treble in between these two loops again pull up a loop skip this uh, slip stitches go over them and insert your hook into the base of the next treble and 
and repeat again for the last uh, treble and here at the top of the stitch and then insert your hook under these uh, two slip stitches that we made at the top of the of the treble for the last round and now cut the tail slide it through and then bring it to the wrong side using your uh, tapestry needle and within your ends and uh, repeat this for all the six corners so this was the first then we have these trebles at this other corner these ones this one and all around and once your ends are whipped in your coasters are ready I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial, if you did don't forget to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next one, bye bye!